What's up everybody? Today we're going to take a look at what we get when we pair the Samsung 990 EVO Plus 4TB NVMe SSD with the OWC Express 1M2. The 1M2 is an external NVMe SSD enclosure built to keep things cool with its solid aluminum chassis and heat fins. Here's a quick size comparison with the Samsung T7 Shield. As you can see, there's a large size difference. There's also a big weight difference with the T7 Shield weighing 94 grams, while the 1M2 with the 990 EVO Plus installed comes in at 259 grams. The 1M2 makes use of a USB 4 connection to reach the speeds that we're going to see in a little bit. OWC includes a USB cable which supports the USB 4 bandwidth. Here's a quick look at the packaging where they give us their advertised speeds. Note that we won't be able to reach the advertised speeds of the 990 EVO Plus because we're limited to USB 4 speeds. For all of the following tests, the 4TB drive is already filled with about 1.2TB of data. For the first speed test, I'll be using an M1 MacBook Air. Here we're consistently getting around 3GB per second read and write speeds. For the second test, I'll be using an M4 Pro MacBook Pro. Here we're getting a little more speed than we did with the M1 MacBook Air with about 3.3 GB per second read and write speeds. Next, I'll go ahead and test 100 GB write from my internal drive to the external drive using four 25 GB files on the MacBook Pro. The copy completed in about 30 seconds. If we do the math, that's about 3.3 gigabytes per second, which matches up with our previously tested speed. Lastly, I'll test a 200 gigabyte write using eight 25 gigabyte files. This time, the write completed in about one minute, 21 seconds, which means we average roughly 2.5 gigabytes per second. When the drive was completely empty, the same 200 gigabyte write took only about 57 seconds, which actually comes out to about 3.5 gigabytes per second. As the drive fills up, larger sustained writes may take longer, and there may be other factors at play here due to the inner workings of the 990 EVO Plus, but these are just the results that I've experienced. Aesthetics aside, the only gripe that I have with this enclosure is the fins. Aluminum edges can sometimes be sharp, and I think OWC did a really good job with rounding the edges just enough on the top and sides, but I find that the corners still snag against my skin and some other materials. It's really not a big deal, but it's something I noticed. All in all, I'm happy with this enclosure and the SSD. I hope you found this video helpful, and until next time, take it easy.